Hello, hello! This is Pender, and today we are going to try a bomb disarm challenge by Pi and Goose. So before you watch this video, you might want to watch their videos, because the bomb is based on a really awesome mechanism, and also you might want to try it yourself before you spoil yourself with my solution. And uh, oh, also they got a really awesome solution to max entity cramming in their bomb disarm video, or well, not bomb disarm video, in their <laughs> bomb challenge video. Uh, so. It's worth checking out. There's links to them and their videos in the description. So let's disarm their bomb. And here are some examples of things that will trigger it. For example, placing a block. Opening a fence gate. Moving a block. I mean, something that has a collision box. Let's do this. So in preparation for this run, I placed all these torches around here. Um, that's the only thing I will not do in survival mode just because I'm lazy. You could totally place them. So um, yeah, uh, besides that, I will use uh, these resources here on Elytra and all that stuff. But yeah, you will see how I use it. So let's go. Um, first, we want to stack up a bit here to fly over to the bomb. And um, yeah, then we want to place a cobweb on top of the bomb. Um, that's for the same reason as the torches, which you will see later. Oh, well, actually, let's just tell you while I've got time to talk about it here. So uh, my plan is to um, destroy the bomb by generating a portal inside it. So, oh, oh, just made it, okay. So um, we need to make sure that the portal finds no better location to generate. And uh, the best way to do that, um, at least to my knowledge, is to occupy all other uh, locations, um, like place blocks there. So it seems like they are not uh, well suited. So um, yeah, here we go. I placed cobweb on top of the bomb in a way that uh, portals don't like to generate there. And let's fly over here where we can place blocks again. Oops. The bomb is prepared. And um, yeah, now we need to go to the nether. So let's build up a portal real quick. Yep. And I'm not completely sure now. Let's let's better place blocks there. I don't think we need them, but let's better be safe than sorry. And we need to deactivate this portal um, when we uh, went into the Nether. Um, that's so that the portal um, with which we get out of the Nether does um, not uh, well not generate well well that it does generate at all because if we uh, would just um, if we would uh, uh, just leave this portal on, we would get out here again, so we want to, to um, break it. Um, to do so, I got a dispenser with a water bucket here, and there's a pressure plate which I will stand on when I go in, and then a torch down there which triggers the um, dispenser. So uh, let's get the flint and steel, stand in between those two blocks, and ignite the portal, so we get into the nether. And this dispenser will trigger as soon as we're in the nether, as this is the spawn chunks. So, generating terrain. And here we go, we are in the nether. Now here we want to stack up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? Yeah, that was 14. And build a portal up here, I hope I won't get attacked by a gas now. Um, oh no. Okay, let's better build up this side. Um, I got nothing to deal with ghasts here, so... if it decides to attack us, we are screwed. Okay, but uh, we want to build up the portal like this here. Um, actually, let's... Okay. Uh, no, I can't do that. Um, never mind. Uh, come on, then shoot already! Hit me! Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, we missed. Okay, but I think he's leaving us alone, maybe? Come on! You're delaying the run. Okay, let's see. Um, now we want to aim at that pixel, aim down all the way, ignite it. If he shoots now, we are in a bad position. But, yep, we got through. And we landed inside the bomb, destroyed the trigger mechanism. The um, Pi zombies are in the end now. And, um, yeah, now we can just uh, destroy everything. So, let's go. The goose villager. I, I don't think there's any reason to kill the mobs. Like we, we totally could, but uh, why should we? Like let's be peaceful here and free this one. And the zombies also um, 
like, yeah, can can stay in the nether. Okay, let's destroy the rest of the bomb. Save ourselves a bit of trouble with the minecarts here and just use a cactus. And there we go, that should have destroyed them. Okay, so we got almost everything destroyed now. Um, now I just have to be a bit careful with this ender crystal. So to get rid of the ender crystal, because I think the goal is to completely uh, get rid of the bomb, to get rid of it we will just move it into um, to lazy chunks and move it inside lazy chunks uh, as well then. Because uh, when... Well actually we can use a redstone block. Uh, when entities get moved from one lazy chunk to another, they get destroyed. That's a, a little bug. So <laughs> that's a way we can get off, uh, can can rid get rid of the um, ender crystal without um, violating the no boom rule. Um, so let's see. Let's just build a, a quick little flying machine here. And I had observers for that. What's the tool for them? Oh, okay. Let's get rid of that. And... Do we have something? We have obsidian, yeah. And there we go. And trigger it. So now we just have to wait for that to, to reach lazy chunks. And um, after that, walk a bit in the opposite direction so it gets unloaded and then walk back there and the ender crystal will be done. And uh, the entire bomb is gone besides the entities, but yeah, no reason in killing them. Ouch. Let's see if that works. So let's walk a few chunks this way. So the chunks back there unload. And um, yeah, now walk a few chunks in the other direction. Oh, up there still one block. There's a ghost block left over from the bomb. Well, we can't can't let that happen. I tried to find it before when I destroyed the rest of the bomb, but oh, yeah, now I hit it. Ah, I'm actually right below it, I think. Um, but I wasn't able to find it. Ah, there we go. Yeah, cheaty bomb. It's trying to cheat us. So now everything of the bomb should be gone. Um, also the ender crystal. It was rendered in the air there while the flying machine flew, but um, it. That's just a client side glitch. So let's see if it's truly really gone. And it's nowhere to be seen. So yeah, we completely destroyed it also, Xander Crystal. Um, so with this run, I was able to completely ignore the mechanic of the bomb. Um, but that's actually really amazing. It's, you should totally check out uh, Pies and uh, Goose channel. 
the links to that on the description, also their videos about Seabuds, really amazing stuff. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Hello, Future Panda here. So two things. First, I noticed that you can also just use water and flood the entire place to get the portal to generate inside, so that would have been easy to do in survival. There was no need for the treaty torches at the beginning. Um, and secondly, after relogging to the world in which we destroyed the bomb, I noticed there was one block left, so one tiny ghost block managed to cheat us, so technically I guess we didn't win the, um, or like, we didn't really disarm the bomb. Um, but yeah, uh, now you can check out Pi or Goose, or also if you like the music in the video, uh, Cellulance, um, there's also a link to his channel, he's also doing Minecraft videos. So thanks for watching and see you next time, bye!